I'm going to record this lecture as well. I am going to share the screen. Because, you know, Zoom has one of the best uh, uh, video encoding recorded. So this is May 2019. I wanted us to solve this paper. Okay, so open the J file, uh, the, the, the evidence file that you have been provided to you. Uh, here is the file. I will try to do it a bit fast. So you need to cope up with me, okay? I will be going a bit fast. So that's your evidence document file where you have to place your evidence. Obviously, you know that. These are the files that have been given to us, okay? Okay, right. So enter your name, send number, save the file, word process document, fine. Um, you need to place screenshots and answers to question the evidence document. Part of the web page is designed to look like this. Cloud storage, this is this. A trainee has attempted to create using, to create this using HTML. Analyze this HTML and suggest amendments. Identify where each of these amendments should be placed. Do not include CSS. So uh, we have to do this in HTML, not in CSS. Right, do you, you get the point? Uh, the output of this should be like this. The output of this should be like this. It's coding code, we have to change. Do you have an idea? No, no problem. I can do it with you. I can, obviously, you are doing the practical, so you're allowed to use Dreamweaver. It's not theory. Uh, but uh, frankly, even if, if you know HTML coding, you will be able to figure out that one, two, three is basically your ordered list. And these are your unordered list, yes or no? So this means uh, I have li, li, presently all of them are in a list. And when they're in the list, it is considered as an unordered, unordered list by default. Okay, so there's no definition. What we need to do is we need to define it in such a way that this is your order list. Okay, so, so, so let's do it. Uh, it's better that I explain you the proper coding, only then you will get it. So I did open up the window, didn't I? Okay, that, that's bad. Uh, Um. Is someone could trying to control me. Thanks, God. Okay, so new file, HTML, because I'm just going to experiment this. I'm going to check it out. So here we go. This is the coding that I have, right? If I obviously uh, split and have a look at the design view, this is what I get. But this is not what I want. I want this to be ordered and these to be on our list. So the best way to deal with this will be that I can simply say over here is OL type is equals to order list okay uh, the first one has to be order list so type is equal to one okay and I can simply close my OL over here by by doing so I get this but obviously this is not again what I want what I want is was this the one Cloud, only these three should be your unordered list. So starting from here, what I can do is I can UL type circle, right? And this should go till here, right? Yes or no? Yes, beta? Okay, now the reason why you want type is uh, in case of an uh, ordered list, there are different types. Like ordered could be one, two, three, ABC, Roman one, two, three. In case of unordered list, your type could be circle, square, disc, or any other bullet point that you want. So bullet points are your unordered list. There, there's no order that has to be followed. But in case of ordered list, there has to be an order that has to be followed. So since you are allowed to use Dreamweaver, uh, you can figure out how will, will this be done. So let's say um, a discussion for today 
was about Owen Jewel as well, which I want to do. Any problem? Can I continue? Right. So I can rectify the problem, is better. Yes, yes, it's, uh, over here. I didn't get your point. We can we change the list of orders to add orders in the design and not using the code? I would prefer you uh, that you get acquainted with the code. OK, because uh, the examiner keeps on saying repeatedly that students should have a good working knowledge of the HTML and CSS codes. So I could have taught you all this using the design, but I don't do that. I could have taught you Excel using that function thingy and doing through that way. I don't do that because I don't want you to uh, use the software to learn totally things. Because at times the question will come directly from the coding in, in, in P1, you get questions of HTML in P1 as well, remember? So in, in P1, you don't use computers. You use computers, don't. You get my point. Then what will you do? Theory paper, and you don't have a computer. I have answer question, right? So I would prefer you doing this over here. This is why even when you make a table, I always ask you to uh, amend the cell width and height inside the coding. Remember, go in the, in, the, in the TD and define the width and the height in the coding as well. I've always told you that, okay? Okay, so let's continue. So we've done this part. Um, complete each sentence with the uh, name of the web development layer. Place your answer in the evidence document that this la uh, layer is used for scripting language, the, the behavior layer that this layer is used for the hyperlink to open word processor, the content layer, HTML. Remember, uh, this layer is used for the markup language. Okay, markup language. This is your content layer. Okay, this layer is used to apply styles to the web page. This is your pre presentation layer. Agree with me? Any doubt? Uh, when we started web authoring, I told you there are three uh, web development layers. HTML is the content layer. A CSS is the presentation layer, of, and, and the behavior layer is JavaScripting, although we don't do JavaScripting in our practical syllabus. So web development layer, there are three layers, content, presentation, and behavior layer. Okay, so all the, sorry? Exactly, all the content that you add on a page is done through HTML. All the styling that you do uh, is always done through CSS. The styling of H1, H2, H3, paragraph, table, body background, you set up all the styles where in the CSS and what is behavior layer whenever you want your, your web page to interact with you you will use JavaScript for that although we don't do JavaScript but you should know that whenever a web page interacts with the user talks to the user it's known as behavior layer which is done through JavaScript is this clear yes So I did not actually have a look at evidence to A, B, C. You can just write the answer. No need to waste time. Actually. Okay, they're just giving you that. We just have to write that. They prepared the evidence document for you. Can we start at task two now? Okay. So you are going to, no, I'll go back. You're going to create a web page that, uh, web page and edit a style sheet for the super disks sales. Many of the people who will view the web page have very slow interaction. Okay, have very slow interaction. You have to read the question carefully. This means if you're doing web thing, there might be images which are too heavy. If the images are heavy, these images cannot be loaded be loaded by people with slow interaction. The scenario always has points which are important. Okay, the web page and the style sheet must work in any browser. Okay, all color codes must be in hexadecimal. Make sure that your style sheets can test no HTML. We don't do that. Our CSS files are always individual CSS files. We don't do it with an HTML. I have not talked to that way. So don't, don't worry. Create a new folder done. Locate the files. This, I have the files. You can even see a folder. Uh, in my current folder, I have the text file. Oh, sorry, not this, this file. This file and this file. I have the files. Right. Open SDS disk.jpg suitable application. Reflect the image horizontally. Save this disk as this one.jpg uh, in the same folder. So. I need to open up. Can I directly open this workshop? I wish I could. My wish came true. Okay. 
Okay. Um, rotate the image this 90 degree clockwise, save the image as this. So I have to save the image as this too. So I have to basically flip it. So how do I flip it? I go into image, image rotation, um, flip horizontally. Yes or no? Did you get the point? I'm going to do it a bit fast. You can watch the video again because I have to finish it. The entire picture. Okay. Right. Uh, save this image as this. So I'll go to file. I'll go to save as. And I'm going to save it as this 2.jpg and I'm done. Right? Next. Drop the image disk 2 so that all the solid state drive is visible uh, with an equal amount of red background on each side. This image must be square. Do not distort the image. The hard disk drive must not be visible. So I don't want this. I just want the solid state. You get the point. Now, please don't tell me, sir, although the examiner has written. Examiner could have not even written. You should know that this is a conventional hard drive. This is a solid state hard drive. You should know by the way. Okay. If I was making the paper, I would have not written it. Okay. Don't think I mean, but that's the way it should be. So it should be actually what? Um, he says that equal amount of red um, on each side, on each side. So this is how I can justify it on each side. Approximately, because obviously I can't. It's, it's, it's placed in such a way. There is no way I can do it otherwise. Fine. Right. Uh, done. Save this as this three. Yeah, square, square. Uh, I just read it. Mm, must be square. So again, um, thirty-three. See, it's 30 and that was 30. Do you see that? So it is, it is square. Yeah. Right. So file save as in the same folder as this three. Any problem? Here? No problem. Right. Resize the image this three so that it becomes a, so to become 600 pixel pixel, uh, save the as image as, you know, at times the examiner becomes quite irritating. It is. Yeah. <laughs> wants you to commit a mistake but no we'll not do that we are not going to make a mistake we'll have it as 600 and 600 yes or no okay it's no it's not small look it's eight percent if i press control plus 12 percent 16 percent 25 percent 30 percent 50 percent this is 100 so it wasn't small you, it should be 100 percent this is the actual size Okay, so you control minus, you can zoom in and zoom out. Control plus, control minus. You always have to look at this percentage over here. Please don't forget it. Yes or no? Good, good. And we are supposed to save it as? Right. Display the contents of your SDS HTML folder sh showing the folder name, image uh, dimensions, all the file names and extension. Basically, uh, we have to show basically is this, oh, no, sorry. this, a screenshot of this, the type, the size, the image dimension, right? Get the point? Folder. Just one mark for this. Anyway, create a new web page called this. Like I said, I'm going a bit fast and I have to actually. A uh, new HTML file, save as uh, in the same folder. Now, I hope I have not. You need to be organized, I'm telling you. Don't say look who's talking. Okay, where is the folder? Sorry? I'm recording it. I'll change the group, okay? That's why I'm recording it. Yeah, I'm recording it. I'll change, shall I share this in the group? Where is it? Sorry? Are you trying to make me panic? I won't. I won't. Okay, right. But the point is, this is where I kept the file. My folder was here. This is my folder. 
And this is where the file. See if, if I, I mistakenly can't see it, maybe you can. Oh, this is one, here you go. It was there, it was there. So here we go, um, dot HTML. Right, next, done with this. Um, this web page must work in all the browser and will have a table structure as shown. Each table cell is identified with letter, a specific question that comes and all dimensional pixels, the letter and the dimensions shown in the table must not appear, obviously. Table borders and grid line must appear on the final web page, fine. Enter text day. The reason why I'm reading ahead is maybe there is a point that which is concerned with the first point. So try to read two, three points ahead. Always do that. So we have, we're going to make a table that will have three rows and three columns, as you can see. So I'll make a table over here, uh, which will basically have is your... I will have a table and the table will have basically three rows and three columns. Yes or no? Any problem? None at all. We need to basically merge is uh, the first one and these two, right? So I'll merge this and I need to uh, one, two, three. And I just need is this. Do you agree with me? So eventually we have is this, right? Okay. Uh, let me enter the dimension as You will see me entering the dimensions. 1400 by it is. You just see what I'm doing. Finally, once you're done with this, the table to width and height, and you know, remove that. Okay, then you will have the accurate table that you want. Okay, finally, the produce color that will be actually right. So, if it's right in the coding, it's absolutely right. You are marked with whatever is in the coding, remember that. Okay, coding to examine this one. If the coding is wrong, you will get marks in the case. So, the reason why I've removed the width and the height from the table is. Because let's in case you have a contradiction. Aap keh rahe ho ke table ki width honi chahiye hai thousand, and what you're saying is ki mere three cells hain, unki width to four hundred, four hundred, four hundred. How can you fit twelve hundred inside thousand? Possible nahi hoga. 
also distort the data. So you don't have to define the table width because your cells will define the entire table width. You get my point. So I'm not doing public declaration of table because privately the cells have been defined. You get my point. Any question? Okay. So done with this, uh, the borders uh, must be visible. So this means we have to make it one rather than zero. Okay. Yes, Rita. No, we don't have to name the cells. That's what they said. The letters and dimensions shown in the table must not appear. And the dimensions will not appear as well. Okay. Yes. 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 And this should be set as H1. I have not yet attached my style sheet. I'll continue. Place in cell B the text this, set this as H2. Uh, and text is basically going to go where? B is this part. So I'll open up my, this one. Let me just wrap it. And this is the text. I'm going to copy this. Control A. Press Control A to select everything in case you might have ignored some of the part. And Control A in this case. And I want this to be, I want this to be set up as, it says as H2. Uh, okay. In cell C, which is this one, uh, the image this four add appropriate alternate text. So this four, what was this four? Remember, Appro yes, solid state memory. So alternate text should be according to that. So here we go over here. I'll come here. I will insert uh, the image, which is this four. Uh, the alternate text I will have is solid state. Sure, no issue. You can. Uh, the size is too big, but just continue, okay? Just continue. What the examiner will say, we'll see afterwards. Because he said that it should be 16 by 600, so we've done that. Okay, if you're doing it right, continue. Okay, enter in cell D the text homepage. Fine. Uh, because at times in the middle, you might be saying, uh, am I not doing it wrong? But you'll eventually see the final work is right. If this happens in document production as well. So in D, am I right? Yeah, in, in D, right homepage. So yes, obviously, if we have missed out something, and this is supposed to be H3. T, contact us. H3 again. Make this text a hyperlink to open um, an email ready for this subject. This. So, this is the email. The context us should open up the following email. So, I'll just click on select like this link. I will write is mail to email address question mark subject is equals to that's what we do remember the subject will be you get the point that's the way coding goes you have to remember it okay for the subject you have to use question mark okay right uh, done right okay right okay um attach the style sheet ssd style .css to the web page so we have not yet tempered with the style sheet we don't know what it is um, we'll simply attach it now so here we go we browse to the location hopefully uh, we are there uh, one second 
is this saved in the same folder? It was some other folder, see? done yeah just continue uh, open the style sheet this intuitive application edit the style to meet the requirements now we have to see that the style sheet is not actually um, fulfilling the requirements so now we have to do is we have to edit it okay fine let's do it let's add the style sheet H1, H2, and H3 font should be Arial. Okay, it is. Um, if not, then Helvetica, or if not, then uh, neither of these, and this will be sans serif font. This has been done. You can see that, right? You know this, right? Okay, you do. Um, I prefer displaying it this way all the time. Okay. Um, font color set to hexadecimal, this. So we can set the font color of this to this, right? The hashtag should come before that. Align, center line, come into block and center line. H1 should be 30 points. H2 should be 14, H2 should be 20. So actually uh, what we should have done was separated them. I'll do it itself, so no problem. So what we can do is, I can simply, simply, this property comes for all, all three, right? So all I can do is simply control C. I can define them separately so that I don't commit a mistake, right? So A3, they should have the following properties, but H1 should be 30. So, H2 should be 1420. All table cells padding set to 15, no collapse borders. So we don't, we don't have the table, okay? So we have to make one. So I'm gonna make one. Uh, tag table so uh, padding set to 15 all padding set to 15 so we'll come here and thank you 15 what else no border class Background color, so we need to have is the body. I hope I'm not talking to myself. Yeah, good. Blue color component, set to hexadecimal, nine nine and FF for both red and green. So the background color will be, the background color will be, the blue component set to hexadecimal, number nine nine, so it's RGB. So red, red set to, R and nine nine. Nine nine. Very good. Done. Okay. Right. Um, add your name, send them candy number as a comment at the bottom of the style sheet. So you come at the bottom and you can basically do is you can add over here is uh, is a comment. Hold on. Yeah. You can simply add your comment even this way. Um, enter your name, your Center number, whatever. Um, save the style sheet. Save the style sheet as yes. I 
as a comment. You can either put this or you can either put this as a comment or you can put this as a comment. Yes, you can even use this. There are multiple ways you can use. Okay. Uh, save the style sheet in your as a folder. Uh, display your C so we don't have to rename the style sheet folder. No, but I'll just save it. So I'll just save it. Right. Uh, display your system here in your software package. Take screenshot of your style sheet. Uh, display the web page in your browser if necessary. Resize it so that all pages are visible. Let's go back and see what we have. See, it all changed a lot. So um, if we preview this in the browser, actually, uh, the resolution of the projector is, is too low. It should fulfill the screen of the Fine, fine. That's the way it should be. Perfect. Um, so display the web in the browser. Done that. If necessary, resize it so that all resize. Okay, what do they mean? Uh, if I display this in the browser, I can press Control minus to resize at times. If it has fark hoga minus karke, you can take a screenshot. But itna bhi na karo padan jaye. This is fine. Okay. Uh, so this is hundred percent. This is ninety percent. But I can take a screenshot. So any web browser, press control plus and control minus. You will remember it because you have to take a screenshot. Get the point, okay? Um, all text visible, uh, bar is visible, right? Take a single screenshot of the web browser window, place an evidence document, display the HTML source. You know that, right? Anyone has problem with that? You know how to do this? Yes, if we code, okay? You can directly print it. You can print the code. Your name is there, or you can copy and paste in the evidence document over here. Uh, we have to place in the evidence document, yes or no? Right? Okay. Save and print your evidence document. So you've done that. Next part is spreadsheet. Okay. We have time and I can finish this paper. No, I can. I'm not asking you. I can and I'm going to. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. You're going to prepare a spreadsheet for super the sales the company makes and sells storage devices. The company will use spreadsheets to compare some of the solid state drives. Uh, that they sell all prices are in euros must be displayed to two decimal places. Open the file this and this two CSV files. Let's open them. Okay. Uh, you minute, those files open to me, enough. One thing very important, please make sure your files are organized. It's one folder you refer to because if you make two folders, you will have a problem. Uh, I'll open up both of the CSV files that we will be referring to. Okay. In the SSD, dot csv spreadsheet insert two rows at the top insert insert enter in a1 merge cells a1 to g1 format the merge cells a1 to have a white uh, 30 point sans serif uh, red background of a, <clears throat> cell A1 to have a white 30 points. So it should be white. It should be if my computer doesn't get stuck, I could speed it up. 30. Format the text in row three to be red. Red, 18, sans serif font. Remember sans serif, primary Roman? No, 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 sans serif is, serif is, right. So I am using over here is, I'm using sans serif, sans serif will be Arial. So why did you like be confident? Always be confident. Okay. Okay. Uh, the top row should look like this. Is it fine? Yeah, it's something like this. It is like this. Okay. Uh, I'm basically concerned with the function formulas. You come, sir. You can do it. Save the spreadsheet. No, I'm just recording. I'm just recording. Place your uh, name, send a number in the header. Can I skip this point, please? Yeah, because I just want to come to the function formulas. 
point sixteen in cell C four use a function to look okay C four this one uh, use a lookup manufacturer's name use the import column for the lookup value it's typical it's typical है ना बहुत easy exactly so I'm import manufacturer you're right so see how confident my students are my one one students that's it I'm import is this it's being recorded you'll make other students jealous okay here you go comma two comma zero uh what did i do wrong no 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 it's, it's not absolute i'm sorry you know uh, no 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 slow and steady wins the race the m code was different i selected a, a wrong okay we look up we're supposed to look up look uh <clears throat> Use the encode column for the lookup value and the external file this for the array. ठीक है ना? So this is my, this was supposed to be my lookup value, and this was supposed to be my array. Okay, and I need to get the value from, and I want to get the exact match. There you go, and I get it. Okay. Don't try to go so fast. Get well to just just work right. Then in cell G four, use the formula to calculate the price per gigabyte for this drive. Round this to two. So in G four, where is G four? There we go. So if, how would I do this? Come on, help me out. Exactly. <clears throat> so I need to do this. Is equal to. Um, And round it to two decimal places. So what do we do? Very good. Do I use int? No. Very good. Two or zero. So we use round. Perfect. Okay. Replicate हो गया. Apply appropriate formatting in cells four two one zero eight, four two one zero eight, which means the capacity price should be. Remember, it was supposed to be in. Currency and euros. Remember, the examiner mentioned this in the in the, in the scenario. So euro, right? So I mean, it's the kind of currency ka. Save your spreadsheet. Print the print the entire spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure it's in landscape orientation. So you do know. You press Control tilde. You click here and you double click between the columns and you you say it's Control tilde below the scale key. Okay. And you go to print, and you make sure that it's uh, landscape, the key below, control tilde, the wave, the wavy thing, the wave, okay? And you print it, right? Any problem? No. No. And then uh, the row and column heading are displayed. You also know that. Uh, you go into print, page setup, sheet, row and column heading to be visible. So if you do that, they will be visible. Yes or no? If you want the grid lines to be visible, you will make sure that the grid lines are also visible, and they will be in the printout, right? Okay, contents are visible. Make sure your you, your your name is there. I didn't do that. Print the entire spreadsheet showing the values. Then you have to press Control Tilde again. Once your values are there, you print and you print again. Any problem? Portrait view um, functions formulas are always in landscape. Values are in portrait. By the way, it should always be like this, as the examiner might say. Extract only the drives made by Samsung or OZT that cost under two hundred euros with more than two fifty GB of capacity. Okay, so <clears throat> we need to basically filter. <clears throat> Manufacturer should be uh, Samsung or. Or what? OZT. Is it OZT? Oh, it is Chinese. Okay, right. So, contains. So I'm going to sing, right? Or it should be equal to. O Z T. See, read the question. Right. 
Okay, and uh, the cost under two hundred euros. Uh, so the cost should be under two hundred euros. I know you know, but let me do it. Okay, uh, should be less than two hundred uh, with with more than two forty GB capacity. मैंने उल्टा तो नहीं कर दिया क्या थी प्राइस इट शुड बी अंडर मैंने उल्टा कर दिया डन सेंडिंग आउट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर इसको सेंडिंग आउट ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर में करके विल टेक अ प्रिंट आउट ऑफ दिस एंड वी आर डन एंड ओके वी सॉल्व दिस पेपर इन लेस देन फोर्टी टाइम टाइम नहीं हुआ ओके सो आई स्टॉप द शेयर